Now today's video is about the Salberry Popcorn Bowl. It's that time of year where it's getting cold outside, we're gonna snuggle at home, around the fire, and watch some movies, and when you do that, what do you like to eat? Popcorn. That's what's gonna be this video. This little thing has 16,000 reviews on Amazon and a 4.5 star rating. Let's check it out and see if it holds up. What's up guys, Jason with Little Guy, Big Reviews. Today we're reviewing the Salivary Popcorn Bowl. I'm gonna put all the links in the description below. Also, join our mailing list. Once I get to 500 subscribers, I'm gonna start giving some of this product away for free to you guys. Now with that being said, let's get the review started. All right, so here's the instructions. Now, step one, it says to wash the bowl and extend it all the way to full height. Step two says to get a quarter cup of kernels and place it in the bottom. And there also is two lines down here. It says quarter cup and half a cup. You can use this if you don't actually have a cup like this. Step three, once you pour those in the cup, you wanna just pour them in there and then you're gonna place the lid on there gently. You don't have to push it down very hard. Just set it in there and you're good to go. And then step four, you have two options with this one. You can either put it in the microwave to two to four minutes or if your microwave has the popcorn button, you go ahead and just press that. Now you know it's pretty much good to go once you hear the kernels start to pop slowly. Now be very careful once you pull this out. You're either gonna wanna use some kind of mittens because you're gonna get really, really hot or you're gonna wanna grab these tabs on the side. But be careful because it will get extremely hot. I can't stress that enough. Let me just show you how hot this really does get. I'm gonna take the lid off. You can probably see the steam coming out of here. But what I did is I grabbed my, my temperature gun and right here directly at the popcorn, woo, look at that, 212 degrees in there, Fahrenheit. And then I'm gonna just do the silicone on the outside. So it's really hot on the inside. The outside comes in at a whopping 153 degrees. So this is really hot. You're not gonna wanna grab it at the bottom. You're not gonna wanna put this between your legs, hop in your car and eat this while you're driving. Don't do it because it's really hot. But now with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and just taste test it. Keep in mind, this is plain. There's nothing put on it yet. We'll add some stuff in a little bit, but let me go ahead and taste this. Mm. Okay, very bland obviously, but they're fluffy. Let me have a couple more bites. They're a lot fluffier than the ones in the bag. But who's gonna eat these bland? Well, a lot of people you ask, and that's what I like about this. This is more of a healthy alternative. You can add butter or not butter. You can add seasoning or not seasoning. Compared to when you buy the bags, there's all that kind of artificial stuff that they put in there, the oils, the salt, all that kind of stuff. So I really like this because it's definitely a healthier alternative to popcorn. And who doesn't love that? Let's go ahead and put some butter in here and then we'll mix it around and see how that tastes. Oh yeah, look at that nice melted butter. Let's pour it on this. Oh, just like the movie theaters, let me tell you what. Now depending on how much butter you like, you might have to go get another stab at it. But, let's see. Let's get deep down in there, grab some oily ones. Let me taste it. Oh. It's actually really good with the butter, plain. Obviously it's plain, so it's not that great. Mm, it's a little crunchy, really fluffy. I probably wanna add more butter to it, so I'm gonna do that. And then I'm also gonna add some of this um, kettle corn. I'm gonna add that, come back, and then see how it really tastes. Other than that, once I added the butter to it, it tastes just like the bag ones that I usually use. I'm also gonna test that next 
to see the difference with the two. If you guys are finding this video useful at all, please hit that like button, and while you're down there, hit that subscribe button. Let's get back to the testing. What I did is I added more butter, and what I learned down here at the very bottom is where the butter wants to sit. So I'm just gonna get my hands in here and mix it up, and it's working really well. And then, get my little kettle corn, because me and my kids and my wife love this stuff. Sprinkle it on. Give it a little shaky shake. Let's taste it out now. Oh man, that is so, so good. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. I like a lot of butter. I don't know if you can tell my hands. Super buttery and then adding that cow corn is just like that the icing on the top. It's really good. And I love how fluffy it is. So what I want to do now, we're going to put in a popcorn bag. We're going to make a new batch of this. And then we're going to see which one tastes better, which one's more fluffy, and which one actually you get more in a bag. Let's get to it. All right, so popcorn's in. We'll come back in a couple minutes and see how it looks. It's a good sign. Can you hear it popping? Yeah, I can't wait. The one in the bag is a lot more, but I'm not sure how much they put in the bag. This is one fourth cup, which is a good amount. And what I like about this too so far is that you can put on it what you want. This already kind of comes, you know, with oil and season already. And I like this because you can add whatever you want to it. We have these, but we get different kind. So I like to put it in here. But let's go ahead and see how this stacks up. Not a ton of kernels, not a ton. Uh, well, more than I would like, I guess. And then let me just see if I can show, oh wow, look at all those down there. That's a lot down there. So I have to put this in again, and I'm going to, because again, I wanna see which one comes out more. So the test continues. The other amazing thing about this popcorn bowl is how much space it saves. If you look at this bowl, and this is the smallest one that I have, Look at that, look how much space it saves. This thing will take up a huge chunk of your cabinet. With this thing, all you do is you put it in here, you set it in here, and you put it in there and you just save a ton of cabinet space. And in my situation, that's a win-win because now my wife can buy more Tupperware to put in there that we'll never use. Go figure. We got all the kernels, but we burnt the popcorn. So I would definitely not put this in more than twice or you're burning now i gotta get this out of the house before my wife kills me in this smell it says it should be six to ten cups with this one batch so let's just see that's one two three four five Okay, we'll call it, we'll call it five and a half. I just want to see how many kernels are left here at the bottom, if there's actually a good amount or not. So I'm just going to pour them in this bowl really quick. And also you guys can see how like these came out really fluffy, a lot different than the bag ones. I'm actually surprised. Let's shoot them out. Look at that. Minimal, minimal kernels, just not even that many. Just like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, it's that time of year where all you want to do is just get some popcorn, hang out in your pajamas and watch a movie. And that's what I'm going to do right now, but I want to point out one thing. What I like about this is it's very convenient. You can pretty much take it anywhere like I am on my couch and I don't have to worry about anything dripping or getting any kind of mess anywhere. And I really like that. That's a definite plus. So I'm going to get back to this movie and I'll see you guys in a little bit. What can I say? I'm a fan of this. I really love the healthier option to this compared to the store-bought bag ones you can get. So let me know in the comment section below, what do you think? If you have this, what are your likes and dislikes? And also, I'm curious to know what kind of seasonings do you guys put on it? Butter, oil, do you use sugar, powder, whatever? Let me know down there below. Also, all the links are in the description. Join the mailing list. 
Watch some of these videos while you're at it. And if this was helpful, please share it on your social media. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. I told you there's a lot of convenient place to eat this. Come on, don't act like you've never grabbed the last thing of popcorn, hit on your kitchen table, and finish this off so you didn't have to share. If you've done this, go ahead and put it in the comments, and I'm going to finish this off. I know I said this is convenient, and you can take it anywhere, but I didn't mean this. So give me some privacy, please.